This agricultural construction class at Franklin Simpson High School worked to finish beds they were building for children in need in the community. It was a project they took on in their class, led by their high school ag ed teacher, Sam Evans. That's been the most rewarding thing uh, for us is the, the students knowing what their work is going to. Sometimes we make, we make projects, and especially like the storage building, they get finished with the storage building and it goes to a home. Uh, they, don't get to, they don't get to really think about the, uh, the family um, uh, getting it. But with this, it's much more, it's much more closer to home, whereas it's actually, a, it's a little kid that doesn't have a bed. Evans had his class take on the project to build 10 of the proposed 20 beds. It fit into a class curriculum, having the students draw up plans for the beds, calculate the cost, and make the cuts from the wood needed for construction. Then there is the satisfaction of knowing they are doing something good for the community. It's a great feeling. I mean, it gives you almost a sense of pride, you know, just the fact that something so simple, you're helping out somebody in such a great way. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Simpson County Extension Agent Christy Ramey said the Build the Bed project came from the Get Healthy Simpson Coalition about children having an emergency backpack to store under their beds. But that's when it was discovered some children in their community didn't have a bed. This has been something that just, I guess, kind of caught fire. And uh, again, I think tugged at everyone's heartstrings to think that you had children in your community who did not have a bed to sleep on. Ramey said a goal of $4,000 was the amount set for the Build a Bed project, but over 5,000 was raised instead. And the Franklin Lions Club, the world's largest service organization, volunteered to build 10 more beds. When kids have to sleep on a couch or on the floor or in a vehicle, I can't even comprehend what that has to do in their mind. Not good. So when I heard about that, I said, we need to fix that. The first beds will be given to Head Start children in the community that have been identified as being in need of a bed. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.